right. So your uh, your new sticks. How many of them do you have? Ooh, that's how three. Much. No, I'd probably say around ten. Ten. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Um, you know, usually they come in sets of 12, I guess. So yeah. probably have about 10 left. I still haven't broken one yet, so. Oh, good for you. Um, knock on wood, but. Well made. Um, yeah. yeah, well made, but um, yeah, I'd probably say 12. I'm not sure what's going on with that uh, uh, coronavirus over there yeah, in yeah, China, because yeah. I think that's where everything's pretty much made in the world. So yeah. um, maybe that is stunting it, but you know, that's well, just how it goes. I was curious about that. Are you like conserving them because of that? Um, I'm not conserving anything. You know, okay. I just, yeah. uh, just play. I like firing the puck with it, so. Obviously, if it gets down to the wire there, um, then we'll start talking a little bit different, maybe tactics. But I think, as you guys know, I kind of just do what I feel in the day. Would you ever give one of those sticks away? I actually have given one away. Yeah, yeah I have. Uh, I think it was in Winnipeg. Actually, there's um, a little kid that kind of grabbed it, and uh, I didn't want to get a tug of war. I probably would have lost, so I gave it to him. And then I actually saw him after walking back to the hotel, so uh, was able to sign up for him. But. Uh, that's probably the best way to get a stick, but it's been actually asked a good amount, so um, I don't know. I guess I'll look at the inventory. I guess I wouldn't mind giving some away, but uh, those things are gold right now. I want to kind of keep as many as possible. Cool. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, all good. All good. <laughs> uh, Jake, we talked about this actually post game, and not to you know reiterate the, a, a storyline, but can you just comment once more on the closeness of this team, the reaction to? to to Charlie's goal, and you were a big part of that. Coach was just talking about it in, in the room, just showing how tight you guys are, and you know what that meant to you. Now I know it's done. I know you're focusing on Arizona now, but the reaction maybe on the bus and the, and the plane and the locker room afterwards. Uh, yeah, it's amazing what a goal can do to a guy. You know, it's. Uh Obviously, it was a big goal for, for him and for our team in general. Obviously, overtime has been um, not gone our way, so to see him kind of bury one in that, uh, uh, on that play was nice. And obviously, I got a little too excited. I got to stop jumping at guys. I uh, don't really know what my speed's like when I kind of come in there, but uh, pretty much blew him up. And then uh, the guys on the bottom, I mean, I was actually trying to get Charlie up. I put my hand down to kind of bring him up, and guys were like... <laughs> sticking them and stuff so it's kind of funny uh see the reaction obviously close group in here you know we've had uh lots of returning players i think we lost just two last year so um you know we uh, we've been through a lot as a group so we obviously are close and to see a guy who you know obviously something that um you know he's been playing well obviously and plays big minutes for our team and um you know young defensemen you want to get him on the board especially when uh you know there's guys like goalie scoring and things like that and uh, you know we kind of chirp him a little bit here and there and to see him Everyone in overtime to give us the win was uh, like sweet for him and all of us involved. Jake, I know that you don't have a ton of experience, or you don't experience another NHL club from the guys who've been around. Is that is that something they talk about that this one is particularly tight compared to other rooms? Uh, usually, when new guys come in, that's what they say. Yeah. And um, you know, when you first kind of, I guess when I first came here too, I noticed that as well. Obviously, with the guys that have been here for uh, since their cup runs and um, things like that. So you know, obviously, the fact that I'm as comfortable as I am, I think. Um, shows how uh, close this group is and um, you know it's just one of those things that uh, like I said earlier anytime a new guy kind of comes along or someone gets called up it feels like everyone's pretty comfortable to start with and um, you know we want them to play well and do uh, do their thing as best as possible and um, it seems like we have a good group in here that gets along and anytime you can handle my personality it's pretty special. Thank you. Jake I mean just back back to Charlie there you know we were saying just how many good things he was doing except for scoring. I mean how much do you guys as teammates notice the little things that maybe we don't see, fans don't see. I mean, how does that stand out to you? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously we're, we're every day together and um, just speaking strictly, I guess, on the ice, you know, it's it's one of those things where, um, you know, for me personally as a goal scorer, when you don't score, you know, it feels like everything's kind of falling apart and uh, obviously it's different for a defenseman and, um, you know, I can't really speak for him, but I could just um, go into your question, probably just little things, you know, how he defends, you know, the other team's top lines every night. It's not easy to do and um, you know, sometimes they're going to have their nights and, um, you know, it seems like he's been consistently kind of there to, um, you know, help our team out and, and not just, you know, goal scoring in different ways. And, um, you know, I think that he's been um, getting rewarded as a late. I think the last, since the break, he's been getting some production, um, you know, personally. So, um, you know, obviously good for him. We want him feeling good. You know, he's a, you know, one of our best defensemen, if not, and most nights. And, um, you know, he's... Uh, you know, we want him feeling good going into he, these games. He said, you know, like the other day before he actually scored, he was telling me, like, you know, obviously I came into this year, and he said, I was just more focused on the defense part, you know, and I know that I can produce offensively, but I really want to be a solid defense in my own end. And it's sort of like you've talked to me and said, sometimes I got to forget about the scoring and just do the little things. Is that sort of the connection you can see there? Yeah, I think that any time that you can focus on just trying to get better every day and building and, 
Um, sounds cliche, but doing the right things and playing the right way. I think that um, you know, once you buy into that and um, you know, yeah, just, cool. and consistently yeah. do it, then then they'll come and it usually comes in waves. So um, you know, that's probably something that he's thought about as well. And obviously, as Z is his partner, you know, probably the best leader to have. Um, whether he was feeling it or not, you couldn't even really tell because that's just how um, you know Charlie is. He's a good player, and um, you know, it was one of those things where. Um, it's kind of funny, guys are giving it to, to him today. He's a little, he's a little off in practice, and everyone's giving it to him about scoring. So hopefully, he uh, feels good. Uh, you know, now it's uh, now it's done with, and obviously going on Arizona, a different uh, different task. Um, last three games, you know, you back together. Um, yes and no. I think that obviously we started off the year together and, um, and you know, our start wasn't necessarily what we wanted production-wise and, um, you know, obviously our team came out hot and obviously with Carson getting injured, you, um, you know, and coming back, it's obviously one of those things where um, you just try to find consistency with our line. I think that I, I, I've liked the way that we played the last couple of games and we want to continue to build and continue to generate chances and we had about two or three great A's and we really made some really good stops and, I think any time that you can do that, it's, it's obviously what you want to do and um, just put pressure on other teams and kind of have a three-line uh, or, you know, honestly, four-line you know, team kind of just rolling through, um, you know, different sets to, you know, attack teams and I think that when we're playing with speed and playing fast, it's going to play well.